Jake, we uh, landed a coffee shipment. Bernie's gonna call you about those brokers up in Portland. I told you, you I, don't, start I don't want you working. I gotta, I gotta do something. Go home. Rest. If you want, I'll ride with you to, to Emily's funeral. I'm not going. And I don't think you should either. Well, it was for the people who were left behind a chance to say goodbye. I know Emily would want that for you. Monica doesn't want me to. Monica lost her daughter. She needs somebody to blame. You were standing there. Everything she said was probably in grief. Doesn't even remember what she said. When I went to tell Monica that Emily... It was, it was like she was begging me not to. Not to take Emily away from her. Forever. But I did. So all I could do for Monica is stay away. And you know what? Out of respect to her, I would just appreciate it if you did the same thing. You okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. If you're not feeling good, maybe you should go back to bed. No, I, the Jekyll would not feel comfortable abandoning his duties as your most trusted and loyal friend on today of all days. Shouldn't you start getting ready for the funeral? I'm not going. Monica doesn't want me there. But you're all she has left. I would think that makes your presence necessary. Thank you, Dr. Q, but um, you have another visitor. It's someone you probably don't want to see. Who? It's Sonny Corinthos, and I was going to throw him out, but he said it was about Jason. No, Alice, you send him in. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to see me. Well, this saves me the trouble of calling you, because I don't want you anywhere near that funeral either. First of all, I want to say I'm sorry. And you have every right to be angry. And if you're going to blame somebody, it makes sense to blame me. Well, that's very magnanimous of you. And whether you believe me or not, I, I really did love Emily. Emily is dead because of you, Sonny. If it's my fault, then it can't be Jason's, right? Oh, yes. But mostly I blame you because you were responsible for destroying Jason's life so he, in turn, could destroy his sister. Monica, I know you hate me. But Jason's your son. He, he's walking around like he's in a cloud. I think he, he needs to go to that funeral and... I think maybe you, you need it, too. I need the Jason that I had before you made him a criminal. I need the AJ I had before you hounded him to death. And I need Alan, whose heart you broke before his heart should ever have failed. I need Michael, who you stole from me and my family. And I need... Emily, who you seduced and you left unprotected so one of your rivals could have her murdered. I hope you rot in hell for what you have done to me and my family. You are an evil, selfish man, Sonny. And I really hope that one of your enemies tracks you down before you destroy your family like you have destroyed mine. Now get out. Hey. 
I just wanted to come and see if you need any help getting ready. I don't even think I should go. Emily would want you there. Monica does it. When I was going to marry AJ, Monica insisted on throwing me a bridal shower. And Emily gave me the tackiest, sleaziest, ugliest negligee ever. I was so mad at her. And she got in my face. And she told me she would rather stick cocktail forks in her eyes than watch me marry AJ. And I respected her from that moment. Emily would want this day to be as easy as possible on Monica. But not at your expense. I don't like funerals. Nobody does, Jason. They're no fun. But they're necessary, you know, they're closure. <sighs> you know, at my grandmother's memorial service, I, I tried to talk. I couldn't say... I couldn't say anything. there and talked about how you should tell people you love them when you have the chance. I, I don't, I don't take you for granted. Okay, even when you make me crazy, I know that you love me and you think I let you yell at me and get all impatient and tell me I'm wrong all the time. I know you love me no matter what. And I love you the same way. I need you to listen to me when I tell you this. Go to the funeral. Not for Emily's sake. waiting for the word from me after the service and then she'll put the food out. Okay. okay. Thank you. Edward, I don't want anyone connected with Jason at this funeral. The boy is harmless and I don't think Emily would object to having him here. I do know that the last few months were the most joyous times for Emily. And that was because of you and Spencer. Oh, she loved you both so much. General Hospital. I was never happier than when I was with you. Do we give up on this too easily? I stand before you to celebrate the life of a remarkable woman. Watch weekdays on ABC, weeknights on SoapNet.